<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back with some Madden Mutt 16 gameplay on the Xbox One. Keep in mind, I have two versions, two of the two Mutt teams. We put it to you like that. I have one on the PS4 and one on the Xbox One. So definitely keep that in mind as you are watching my Mutt videos. But yeah, we have a newly acquired player. We have newly acquired Brian Finneran, 91 overall, 87 speed. I believe it's a 97 catching traffic as he catches a nice pass right there for 35 yards right there on his first play by, by him. And I believe he has a 96 catch. Don't quote me on those stats, but I think I'm kind of close to him. But check out this, man. I go deep right here, man. This Marcus Mariota is pretty good, but the Brian Finneran is not bad either as he gets me all the way down to the one. DJ Fluker. He sold for 71K. So if you have a, a go DJ Fluker, sell him on, on the Xbox One, sell him, man. He's going for a higher price right now. I never, it's so, I don't know what it is about this year, but for some strange reason, I'm getting all these cars that are selling, like gold cars, but they're selling for so much. And I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm getting these cars. And that DJ Fluker was one of them. I actually posted it on Twitter because I, I wanted to show proof that this was actually happening. So 71k when I when I sold him, I ended up getting 215k. So I bought the Brian Fenneran as my opponent throws a, a bad pass on the fourth and seven. He should have went for that. And it ended up leading to the first score of the contest. Shout out to the Daniel Thompson Dorito version. But yeah, I ended up getting um, Brian Fenneran 91 overall for 100k. I was gonna go for someone like you know, AJ Green or, or, or T.Y. Hilton that was about 25 or 30k. I think AJ Green was actually 40k, someone a little bit cheaper so I could have. More coins accumulated, but I was like, you know what? Let me ball out a little bit, man. You know, I, I, if I ain't ready to ball out, like, let me let me ball out a little bit. And I was like, you know, what? let me get Brian Fenner. I've been wanting him for a while. I wanted him or Herman Moore, but of course, Herman Moore was like three hundred million. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, coins. So there was no way I could get to Herman Moore. But you know, I, I, I'll take I'll take the Brian Fenner as he as he caught you know two you know, nice passes that I, I, that I'm gonna need him to catch um, in the future. In, a, in a future games and stuff like that. You know, he's only at 87 speed, but I don't necessarily need my number one wide receiver to be the fastest. For my team, the fastest wide receiver that I need to have is actually the third receiver, my slot receiver. I need him to be the fastest. I throw a pick right here. Good job on my opponent. I should have threw that pick. I deserve He, he should have ran him back for six. The only reason why I say that because I rushed it, but look at this play right here, man. My goodness. This guy did a hit stick, recovered the fumble, spin move, and got six points, ran it back for six. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me to check out this, my boy, Ty Lib, man. He was one of my favorite corners in, in Madden since I, I sent him Madden 25. But I know last year I had him on Madden 15, his 91 overall version now. And I believe I had him for the whole duration of the rest of the month with my 96 overall team last year. Don't quote me on that, but I believe I know I had him for a long time. He was about to shot over Dell, one of my favorite corners in the game, as I'm forced to kick a field goal after throwing a bad pass to Antonio Gates on the third down, man. So we're at 17 right now. It's at the end, the bottom of the, of the first half. And look at this, man. This guy loved that toss play, man. I think it's like his first, fourth toss at this moment of the game, man. Plastic fake, he goes deep, but we end up batting that down. Now, he also has um, Brian Fenneran, too, the 91 overall version, of course. Some key players that he has, just in case you don't know. Like I said, the, the 91 overall Brian Fenneran, he also has Glover Quinn Knights overall, and he has 92 overall Tony Romo, so the guy doesn't have a bad team, at least it doesn't seem like anyway, but um, what I wanted to say about, you know, here's Brian Fenneran, I'm not saying like me and his are different, you know, he's throwing a little bit um, more um, tougher passes for Brian Fenneran to catch the post of what I'm doing, but you know, Brian Fenneran dropped some passes that, you know, look catchable, you know, look very catchable, and it kind of worried me a little bit, I'm like, man, is that what I'm to have to deal with in the future with Brian Fenneran? But he's doing good for me right now, so, you know, beggars can't be choosers, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's say, you know, accept, you know, his abilities right now. As I get another pick with Ty Lib. Ty Lib's second pick of this contest, man. One of, my, one of the reasons why I love that card, man. That it's, I, I don't know what it is, man, but these guys make it. I know he's a beast in real life, but they always make his card really, really good, man. So we're, we're in the middle of the third quarter here. I, I scroll to the left right here. Oh, yeah, a couple things they're doing. Look at this catch right here, man. Look at this comeback by Kenny Stills. I was shocked that happened. I got a little lucky right there, but sometimes it says better to be lucky than good. So I'll take that, man. But if you look at the stadium, man, we're in a practice stadium, as you believe it. We're in a practice stadium. This is the first time I ever played in the practice stadium man so this feels pretty awesome as i run it with mariota right there i decided to tuck it instead of slide i don't know what i was thinking about <laughs> but luckily i didn't fumble and i, and I took the field goal in a 17 point lead in this contest but um 
But yeah, um, we're one of the practice field. I don't see nobody in the crowd, and that it looks kind of it feels kind of weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Plus, there's another field like right next to us. I'm like, man, this this field it feels kind of good to be on this field. I, I kind of like this. For, I didn't play in the practice field last year, at least not to my knowledge. And I also had the Jaguars jerseys suggested by subscriber, man. So if you want me to play with a um with a certain jersey um team. Um, certain team jerseys, let me know in the comment section. I'll see if I can accommodate that for you. I, I can't probably want to play with every jersey, but I, I try to alternate it, you know, throughout seasons. I don't know if I guys told you already, but um just because I didn't told you I, I played we're we're in the second season right here. I played the Super Bowl. Um the lag was on Incredible Hawk. I ended up losing by seventeen. But since the lag was on Incredible Hawk, um I, I decided not to put it on. I could I actually I couldn't even edit it. That's how bad it was. Just because I didn't that's case I forgot to tell you, man. But let's get into this game a little bit, man. In the middle of the fourth quarter here, I decided to drop back. Go to the left right here to Dan Thompson, LT. Man, I should have ran into the end zone, but I thought he was going to get attacking me. I thought he was closer than what he actually was. If I'd have known that. Look at this pass. My goodness, man. This is Marcus Mariota, man. That was a that was a great catch by Gates, but that was a sick pass. Look at this sick pass, right? Woo! Tony Romo threw that. Yo, he threw that on there. That looked, that looked like real life, man. That was like, I, I seen that catch. I was like, whoa, that was crazy, man. He threw that right on the nose, man. But I'm up 27-3. to I, I clearly had the victory here as he tried to go into the end zone right there. Second and five. He does actually get a touchdown right here. I thought I had to pick, man, but I guess the attributes of his wide receiver was better than my uh, Reggie Nelson. So he ends up getting that touchdown right there. And the two-point conversion making the score 27-11. to 11. Uh, He didn't go for an onside kick. I was a little bit shocked by that. But, you know, top not, I mean, top of the two-minute warning, man, 100 and, I'm sorry, I'm in and 37 seconds have to go in the game, man. I'm, I'm kind of just playing around here a little bit as Antonio Gates gets another beautiful catch right there. My goodness, man. That's an 85 overall Antonio Gates. So just imagine when he starts getting better cards, like a 90 or 92 or something like that, man. He's just going to be an absolute monster, man. As I fumble right here, you know, trying to go deep. You now, just trying out some new players right there, and I you know, end up fumbling. Anyway, end up having to punt this ball because it was fourth and 30. Of course, of course, you got to punt the ball. You know. He's only down two scores. You know, two scores and two two-point conversions. You know, anything can happen, especially in this game. You know, he has that Brian Fennerman. You know, you know, I already told you the game is lost, but this is what I'm thinking in my head as I'm playing right now. You know, he has that Brian Fennerman. Man. You know, I, I can't be, you know, I can't be too sure about victories. And speaking of that, look at this. Look at this right here, man. The Brian Fennerman. I was happy to see this. You know, it was on me, and, and I know, and of course, I know I'm great to win, so I was happy to see that. But I was just like, man, you gotta be kidding me, man. Now, what if he, now, what if he gets that two, what if he gets that two point conversion right there? And <laughs> it makes it 27 to 19, and then he gets an onside kick, throws it to again, gets another two point conversion, which is, you know, which is, which is how you're gonna like me in a real game. But man, you never know, man. We I, we could this could have been overtime, man. But shout out to my opponent, man. Much love, much respect. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I love doing these commentaries, man. It's um, one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite hobbies to do in life right now. Just working out in basketball, of course. This is your boy, Launchpad1412. And I'm out.